Hey guys, Tori from Cosmos Gaming here, and I'm hanging out with the guitar player of this century, Sean Silverman. Hi Sean, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm doing very well. Welcome to New Jersey. I mean, you got, you. you're got you from uh, Phoenix, correct? I'm originally from New York, actually. Oh, okay. I, I moved to Phoenix a good amount of time ago, but I'm originally a New Yorker. A native New Yorker. Yeah. Wow, what part of New York? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. All right, Brooklyn. Represent. Oh, it's wrong. Represent? <laughs> well, then welcome back to the... To the East, East Coast. Coast, yes, Thank New you Jersey. Much. You're very Appreciate welcome. It. We are in Nutley, New Jersey, right now, and so you are on tour. Yes. And I'm... how is tour going so far, buddy? Tour has been good. Mm -hmm. uh, the boys, the boys are back in town. The boys. <laughs> and uh, it's been great. We we all have been touring together for a long time, and it's just a nice, easy. And I say easy, not in like that it doesn't require us to do anything, but just in in the sense that it's just so easy when mm -hmm. it's our friends and it's people that we're so comfortable with and there's no stress That's and good. it's great it's been great a no stress living zone That's yes fantastic. it's awesome i want to talk about this century well okay. not this century like in general i want to talk right. about the band this century that works so yeah. you guys started in like high school 2006 is that correct um more pretty much started in 2007 which isn't that much different than 2006 Whoa, uh, yeah, yeah. Days i know like. i know but um <laughs> like, we didn't really start doing anything um seriously until probably 2009. Mm -hmm. It was like two years of us just kind of like, we were playing shows and hanging out and trying to figure out our stuff. And um, yeah, it kind of started in 2009. So it's been a good five, six years now that yeah. we've been together and doing it. So Well, in 2007, you released your first EP. Yes. So it was kind of just from there on yeah. out. And then, so I actually just said this to you off camera, but mm -hmm. I met you guys in 2010, yeah. and you guys ate my pizza. I know. So I we're, just wanted to just tell that to all the fans that if you have pizza, they might eat there's it. There's a very good chance they will eat they your pizza. They probably will eat your pizza, which I, I'm, you know, that's all cool with me. I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, we used to, like, a lot of the beginning years of us touring were us kind of, well, it's still, I mean, you just kind of are scraping by, and mm -hmm. you're trying to just figure out what you're doing, and... Um, a big part of what we always wanted to do is that we, we felt very, um, very, very lucky to be able to even tour in the first place because we had so many friends that couldn't mm -hmm. even do it. And then our big thing was that we would go and walk the lines every day and try and just actually meet every single person on the line and, and not so much just like try and force the whole CD mm -hmm. thing, but at least make some sort of interaction because a lot of times with opening bands, it's just like you get there no one's really paying attention and then a couple of people are paying attention they're just kind of waiting to yeah. see the band so we wanted to find a way to kind of like do that and so we would stamp a lot of times we would do a lot of hand stamping and all sorts of weird stuff eating pizza eating people's pizza <laughs> it's kind of funny that you mentioned that meeting down the line because that's actually where i met you guys yeah. and then later on during the night my best friend bought your cd that's so crazy and so and now yeah. here we are today a couple of years later it's doing nuts. an interview in a basement <laughs> So nothing's really crazy, changed. man. Nothing's really changed. We're still we're still in the same basement. You guys are it's a different year, different basement. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. And now, what is your biggest challenge being on tour, other than you know just the whole meeting of the fans? But how about the actual driving? The driving's. Uh, do you guys I get like kind of maybe I going get, into deep? Do you guys get annoyed with each other once in a while? Anyone no, get road rage? No, we're really good with each other. I mean, we're. We're a lot older now, so we don't. We're, <laughs> we're pretty. We're a lot wiser now. We we all know each other's things and like our, the little ticks that mm -hmm. piss people off. So we're really good about being conscious of that. And I think also a big part of what makes it work is that once you've kind of done the, the road trip from East Coast to West Coast, you you're just used to the, accustomed to knowing built in that you're going to be driving for a while. Yeah. So. For instance, tonight, we'll, right after the show, we're going to drive to, to, to Toronto. So that's an eight-hour oh, wow. eight okay. drive to Toronto so we can play tomorrow. So, so who's going to be the, doing the driving I'm, tonight? I'm, I got the first shift. I usually uh, do the first shift. After about 2, 2 a.m., I start getting a little weird. So yeah. I have to Fair cut enough. myself off. Fair enough. Now, what is the craziest thing, out of all the tours you've ever been on, what is the craziest thing that's ever happened to you personally? Me personally? Whether it be um, a fan or there was just... An interaction you had maybe with a venue. Um, the craziest, I, I guess, the, my the craziest thing I've ever experienced was when we went we were over in the Philippines mm -hmm. and we played our first show over there. That was probably the craziest thing, just because we had gone like two years of interaction only through the internet, and mm -hmm. then never had a real sense of what it was like to live there or be there or know the people, and then to meet everyone and them be so hospitable and nice, and then the show was so 
so much overwhelming emotion because it was just such a insane interaction and yeah. connection and the show was just felt felt different than anything we'd ever done and I think that moment I I mean at least at the, I'm sure there will be other awesome moments but at this point in my in my life my short lifespan that, that definitely if you're talking about it, it definitely took a toll on you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and now let's talk about the band so what do you guys have coming up what's tell, tell what, me what's the tell, new stuff tell me all the details okay. <laughs> so we have a we started writing a record in March mm -hmm. and then we had taken kind of a, a little bit of a hiatus because Joel had been dealing with um, some vocal issues mm -hmm. and then um, the new record is just about wrapped up and it should come out in early spring. Is the and name released? No, not yet. Oh, can you no, give me a hint no, or no? It's that. top secret. Top secret. But yeah, but yeah, the, the record will be out pretty soon and we have plans to tour in the new year and kind of get back in the swing. We've kind of, this is the first thing we've done in since March, so wow. it's been a bit. This is the longest run we've gone without being on the road in, in like six years. So, so this has been a really amazing thing just to even get to this point, and everything after it just feels that much more special that we even get to do it. So, is this record going to be a little bit different than your old stuff, or are you, are you guys going for a new approach um, direction? Yeah, it's going to be very different from okay. the last record, um, mainly because I think we there was a big gap of time between writing the last one, writing this one, there's about three years of time and we've definitely gone through a lot in that three years and I think there's a maturing mm -hmm. that needed to happen within the band and within what we were doing and I think this record will hopefully reflect that. So. Now regarding lyrics of every song, is it a teamwork process or does Joel do all the writing? Like, how does it go? Yeah, um, how does it go? Do you guys ha base, like, have other friends that help you out? Like, <laughs> Basically the, the way it, it used to go is I would write a majority of it and then we would all collaborate around okay. it as like a skeleton and we work around it. But on this last record, it was a way more, I, and even on the second record, it's way more collaborative. Mm -hmm. uh, I, Joel and I write together usually lyrically and we kind of all shape uh, an idea and it's a it's very uh, collaborative process and very cohesive between the three of us because I think we all kind of mush into each other's influences by just being around each other and I think th this record if anything is the closest to that cohesiveness that we okay. tried to find yeah awesome um, that's actually all the time we have is there <laughs> anything else that you would like to say um uh, no. No. I think I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much oh, no for problem. hanging thank out you. with me. We really appreciate it. And that's it. This century, Sean. He's awesome. And where can we actually follow you on Twitter and all those you can, other shenanigans? You can find us at at the century. Mm -hmm. You can find me at at the century, Sean, because I made that in two thousand seven or two thousand nine, <laughs> whenever that Twitter existed. And yeah, then I think uh, it started actually in two thousand five, but it didn't really launch until two thousand seven. Just so you know. Good history. Yeah, I actually just took a test on that. Kid you not. Facts. And then uh, on Facebook at the Century Band. Facebook awesome. Slash the Century Band. Yeah. Let's end this with a solid high five. There it is. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Sean. All right.